Hi everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel where we focus on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. Next in the series of Here Journals for the book of Proverbs. Today, Proverbs chapter 11 in the book of wisdom. Proverbs is the book of wisdom in the Bible. Doing a video a day, a chapter a day, a here journal a day. Look at replicate.org to learn more about here journaling, a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. And like and subscribe, you can see more of these and other videos. But now, let's read and listen from the book of Proverbs chapter 11. Chapter 11. The Lord detests the use of dishonest scales, but he delights in accurate weights. Pride leads to disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. Honesty guides good people. Dishonesty destroys treacherous people. Riches won't help on the day of judgment, but right living can save you from death. The godly are directed by honesty. The wicked fall beneath their load of sin. The godliness of good people rescues them. The ambition of treacherous people traps them. When the wicked die, their hopes die with them, for they rely on their own feeble strength. The godly are rescued from trouble, and it falls on the wicked instead. With their words, the godless destroy their friends, but knowledge will rescue the righteous. The whole city celebrates when the godly succeed. They shout for joy when the wicked die. Upright citizens are good for a city and make it prosper, but the talk of the wicked tears it apart. It is foolish to belittle one's neighbor. A sensible person keeps quiet. A gossip goes around telling secrets, but those who are trustworthy can keep a confidence. Without wise leadership, a nation falls. There is safety in having many advisors. There is danger in putting up security for a stranger's debt. It's safer not to guarantee another person's debt. A gracious woman gains respect, but ruthless men gain only wealth. Your kindness will reward you but your cruelty will destroy you. Evil people get rich for the moment, but the reward of the godly will last. Godly people find life. Evil people find death. The Lord detests people with crooked hearts, but he delights in those with integrity. Evil people will surely be punished, but the children of the godly will go free. A beautiful woman who lacks discretion is like a gold ring in a pig's snout. The godly can look forward to a reward, while the wicked can expect only judgment. Give freely and become more wealthy. Be stingy and lose everything. The generous will prosper. Those who refresh others will themselves be refreshed. People curse those who hoard their grain, but they bless the one who sells in time of need. If you search for good, you will find favor. But if you search for evil, it will find you. Trust in your money, and down you go. But the godly flourish like leaves in spring. Those who bring trouble on their families inherit the wind. The fool will be a servant to the wise. The seeds of good deeds become a tree of life. A wise person wins friends. If the righteous are rewarded here on earth, what will happen to wicked sinners? Pretty fascinating. Now for the Here Journal. The highlight. Proverbs chapter 11, starting in verse 3. Honesty guides good people. Dishonesty destroys treacherous people. Riches won't help on the day of judgment, but right living can save you from death. The godly are directed by honesty. The wicked fall beneath their load of sin. The godliness of good people rescues them. The ambition of the treacherous people traps them. When the wicked die, their hopes die with them. 
for they rely on their own feeble strength. The godly are rescued from trouble, and it falls on the wicked instead. Verse 14, without wise leadership, a nation falls. There is safety in having many advisors. Verse 27, if you search for good, you will find favor. But if you search for evil, it will find you. So what's the explanation? The explanation is Proverbs chapter 11 has sentences with contrast between wise and good people with those of foolish and wicked people. And so what's the application? The application is that we can learn from these to be honest, good, and generous. We should seek wise leadership and counsel. We will find favor in the Lord with our faithful obedience to His instruction. So what's my response? My response is, Lord, thank you for your wise instruction. Help me to apply these truths to my life to be all I can be in you. Isn't the book of Proverbs just awesome? Now you try it. You try here journaling. Read the book of Proverbs and write down a highlight, explain, apply, and respond. Don't be discouraged. God is not going to let you down. Comment below. Share your experiences with us. What have you learned from reading Proverbs? If you don't know Jesus as your Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to receive forgiveness. Talk to God about it. He loves you. He really, really does. Keep seeking Him. See you next video.